Welcome back and starting the first segment of Breakfast Show. And we are joined in the studio by Mr. Amr Abdul Rahman, he's a political analyst. Good morning, sir, and welcome to our show. Good morning to you and the dear viewers. Thank you, sir. Uh, first, we're going to uh, start with Ilyum Seba, where we uh, read President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Monday Slovenian uh, president, who is in an official visit to Egypt. The presidential spokesman, Ambassador Ali uh, Youssef, said that the two leaders has held bilateral talks session that was followed by an expanded talks uh, session which included delegations from both countries. President Sisi welcomed his Slovenian counterpart stressing Egypt's keenness on boosting bilateral relations in various uh, fields, especially the economic uh, field. President Sisi also said that the visit will boost the relations between the two uh, countries. Uh, Mr. Amr, how do you see the importance of uh, these uh, visits? And um, I believe it, it has been a long time since we received a Slovenian uh, president. So how do you see such a visit? Well, so many presidents that we have, uh, haven't have received for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And we are making a new, a new era of uh, our foreign affairs and policies uh, with uh, our counters, uh, countries all over the world. Of course, this uh, a new step ahead in our policies, successful policies. I might add, uh, it comes in a series of uh, visits uh, and steps uh, has accomplished by the President Abdel Fattah Sisi, of course. We remember that he was in Emirates uh, last week and he, he was taking the lead of our independent policy against uh, pressures of all kinds and deals he was uh, supposed to be pressed upon Egypt, but he refused. He is defending our policies and independence of our uh, attitude, our decisions to be made. Sir, maybe I have, uh, I have a, um, a question. Um, what's the importance of a president visiting another country? We can, uh, they can hold phone uh, call talks, they can have uh, a conference call. So. What does it show that the president goes to other country? It represents the importance of the, 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 the communication and deepening the, the relationship, um, the common relations, relations with other countries. Of course, um, any phone call can be accomplished, of course, between the president and any other president all over the world, or, 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 or a king or whatever. But uh, a visit from a prime minister or a president from uh, Europe or uh, any other country to Egypt, it means a lot. It means that uh, things that can be uh, accomplished by phone is just too soft, uh, too, too um, shallow. But uh, the, the, the more uh, important and the more deep about these relations between Egypt and other country must be accomplished face by face, face to face. It means that uh, Egypt is not a country that its president can be just called by phone and say, hello, we are friends. Mm -hmm. No, we are a leading country and we are proving this over and over again, especially right now, mm -hmm. especially that we are, as I told you, we are uh, facing too many pressures to change our um, line of decisions to support the, the maintenance and the, 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 the strong regimes and the, the legitimate armies to face the chaos conspiracy, the chaos uh, plan against the region. We are okay. taking the lead, the leading role uh, accomplished, accomplishing this, uh, this is, these decisions, of course. Okay, and still with Ilyum al Seba, uh, where we read uh, Prime Minister Sharif uh, Ismail headed on Monday the Economic Group Ministerial, group ministerial uh, 
uh, meeting. During the meeting, the ministers continued their discussion about the new investment law before presenting it to the cabinet and then to the House of Representatives. They also discussed a number of suggestions about the new law. The ministers also discussed proposals for promote the national product as it continues, as it contributes to reducing the import bill and also to ease the pressure on hard uh, currency. Uh, Mr. Amr, also, how do you see the importance of uh, such a meeting by uh, Prime Minister Sharif Ismail? It's a very important thing, of course, but I, I need to uh, tackle on some important issue here. There are tycoons that are holding the markets in Egypt, and they won't let go until we change the laws to uh, regain our economy back from their clothes. Mm -hmm. I believe that those tycoons, they, they were made in uh, previous errors. They will not let go for easy. They will not uh, surrender their uh, uh, wrong uh, control and uh, this mistaking uh, control of the markets in Egypt. But uh, on the other hand, we need to change this umbrella of laws that we have in the country to make it more firm and strong against anyone who is trying to capture the markets and uh, manipulate uh, the, 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 the people demands. This will make it easy for this government or any other government with or without the IMF law, just to accomplish a new uh, era of uh, stability in our economy and even development that we are all uh, hoping to achieve. Mm -hmm. And uh, moving to Al-Yum uh, al where we read uh, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri meets on uh, Monday uh, met on Monday with the managing director of the International uh, Monetary uh, Fund, uh, Kristen Lagarde, in Washington during his current visit to the uh, United States. The Foreign Minister Spokesman, Councillor Ahmed Abu Zaid, said that the meeting tackled the follow-up of the agreement signed between the Egyptian government and the International Monetary Fund recently. The Foreign Minister reviewed current economic and social developments in Egypt as well as the economic reform program. He stressed the Egyptian government's uh, commitment to implement all elements of the reform program and face the challenges associated with uh, it. Uh, Mr. Amr, um, still with the International Monetary Fund uh, uh, yes. loan and um, how do you see such uh, a loan so far and how it could boost the economy? I, be I believe that we are making the best of it. Mm -hmm. Although we are just as if we are dancing with wolves right here. We are dealing with the most dangerous uh, financial association in the world. But sometimes you need to deal with such an uh, institution or uh, association just to grab some points, just to, ma to make sure to the whole world that we are making progress and we are not afraid to deal with the IMF from a strength uh, position, a position of strength. Not we are demanding, we are needing. We are, yes, of course, we need it right now. Yes, but this loan was just not only the, the, the savior for in, in our uh, crisis, no, we have too many lines you are uh, walking through. At the same time, we are building truly bigger and higher projects that is really going to make the future of this uh, country. We are uh, expanding our relations with all over the world countries, east and west, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a magical balance that we have never accomplished since years. For years we were uh, just forward to the U.S. Now we are independent truly and we are fighting for, for this independence. And we will fight for it because this is the only language that the world will understand us and will obey our orders within our region that we are the leaders in it. And uh, moving to a loved uh, newspaper where the Central Bank of Egypt announced on uh, Monday that the country's foreign reserve reached $23.5 billion uh, by the uh, end of November, up from $19.4 billion 
uh, dollars in October, a rise of 21%. Uh, Bankers uh, attributed the rise after receiving $2.75 billion from the International Monetary Fund. That represents the first uh, tranche of the $12 billion loan which Egypt will uh, receive at uh, four payments in addition to $2 billion worth in international uh, uh, bonds. Um, well, for how long this uh, rise in the foreign uh, uh, reserves will uh, stay? And uh, is it just temporary or uh, it will stay for a while? Is, is EV going to go better and higher? I believe within the next two months, God's willing, we will find our uh, reserve of uh, foreign currencies will be stepping higher and higher. I believe that we are doing the right thing, although we are fighting sometimes against who, those who are uh, just seem to be in our side. But on the other hand, on the, uh, on the, re uh, the real thing, they are against us. Even the, the, the show, they are with us. With this, with their um, confronting the state or their failure uh, accomplishing their jobs, uh, within this um, uh, very, very hard line we are achieving, we are going to go forwards and we are ri rising our foreign uh, currency, uh, foreign currency uh, reserve. And I believe by the end of this coming year, God's willing, mm -hmm. we will have a launching economy that will define any other economy in the whole region. And uh, moving to Al uh, Akbar Al Yom, uh, where we read uh, Minister of International Cooperation uh, Sahar uh, Nasr stressed that the human element is the primary aim of any uh, development. She added that the strategy must include more training programs and must focus on vocational education. During the discussion on ways of joint cooperation with the Islamic Development Bank, uh, Nasser said that the ministry is working on the development of the infrastructure w as well as providing roads and a drainage system. She said that the necessary elements of the infrastructure are uh, capable to attract the private sector, uh, eliminate poverty and improve the lives of uh, citizens. And um, Mr. Amr, how do you read such a statement by Dr. Sahar Nasser? We are building our infrastructure to build upon the future. We are building this uh, road uh, net all over the country for making the export and, and import easy, for making the trade market uh, go wi wider and to be expanded all over the country from east to west, from south to north. This hasn't been uh, accomplished before, at least for decades. Now we are just must remember that we must protect the people, the, 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 the ordinary citizen, by renewing the net of laws through the parliament, through the government. We need to make people in the same time, in the meantime, realize how important those projects, those life, uh, those future career projects are important and even invite them not only to realize they are there but to, to, to take part, to work, to go there and work in it, to encourage youth, not to criticize but to go there and work, leave their seats at home and go there and work in Ismailia, in Suez, in Suez Canal, in Sinai, in the one million and a half uh, acres to be cultivated, already being cultivated right now. We need to make people breathe freedom and, and uh, independence and feeling capability of doing something, not mm -hmm. only to sit back and wait for someone to give, a, give, us, give us a hand. We need to be the stronger hand. Okay, and moving to Al Watan, where the Syrian uh, army has again ground in the battle uh, for uh, Aleppo on uh, Monday. 
Uh, as regime uh, ally Russia said it would hold talks with Washington on a total rebel withdrawal from the city. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's forces have seized two-thirds of the former rebel bastion in East Aleppo since they began an operation in recapture of uh, recapture all of Syria's battered second city in mid-November. Uh, um, how do you see, sir, the situation in Syria so far? Well, gladly, I would just say victory is up ahead and soon for the uh, first Arabic army, the Syrian army. Mm -hmm. I am truly feeling glad that finally we are about to uh, achieve final victory in Aleppo, which is a very crucial and a strategic battle against the terroristic groups, whether Muslim Brotherhood or the base Al-Qaeda or the El Nusra, which is the, the new version of Al-Qaeda, mm -hmm. or against the country that are supporting terrorism in the region. This is a victory for the Arabic nation, not only for the Arabic Syrian army, Mm -hmm. This is a victory that is, uh, must be uh, protected with more victories and more controlling the total Syrian lands and protecting the, the, the leaks coming from Iraq by ISIS uh, elements that are supported, that, uh, that terroristic group by the terroristic regime in Turkey and mm -hmm. even some other countries. We need to fight and give a hand even by media, by all means possible, to the Syrian army and the Syrian people and the Syrian regime right now. We are not supporting Syrian a regime. Syrian regime is killing its people. We are not supporting the regime, mm -hmm. totally. We are supporting the maintenance of the country. We might differ with the regime. Who, who can say otherwise? But it's, it's a matter of now of to be or not to be a country anymore. Now we can see that Turkey's occupying lands in Syria. Why? Who, is, who has given the, the opportunity, for, uh, opportunity for Turkey to occupy lands in Syria and in Iraq? Um, we have to move to uh, El Wafd newspaper where we read the, uh, the, foreign, the forces loyal to Libya's UN-backed government said on Monday they have seized full control of CERT from the Daesh group in a major blow to the terrorists who battled for months to retain their bastion. The battle for the coastal city, which was the last significant territory held by Daesh in Libya, cost the lives of hundreds of loyalist uh, troops. Uh, and how do you see... Uh, the progress of uh, Libya in uh, regaining its land one more time? It's too early to say it has gained uh, control in the Libyan land. Watching now a divided country, by all means, mm -hmm. by all meaning of the word, it's a divided country. And it's not going to be united again until a miracle has happened. Mm -hmm. We believe that even the government, the, the legitimate co uh, government by Faisal Sarag, or the other uh, army, the other army, I'm not saying the same army, I believe that sometimes there are clashes between, I don't know what to say, it, an army or a militia but of the, 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 the government, between uh, the government and the other, and the army led by uh, General Hafter. Mm -hmm. We believe that this country is divided forever, thanks to what happened before. We can never uh, forget this country now is a source of danger to our Western, uh, but Western sir, borders. We hope that Libya uh, unites one more time. It's our neighbor and it's a, an Arab uh, country. Mr. Amr Abdelrahman, political analyst, thank you very much for joining us. Thank and you. now we are moving to this report uh, about uh, Libya. So please stay tuned. to securing a final patch of land where Daesh militants were holding out in their North African stronghold of Sirt. Daesh took over Sirt in early 2015, setting up its most important base outside the Middle East and extending its control along about uh, 250 kilometers of Mediterranean coastline. Forces led by brigades from the western city of Misrata launched a counterattack against the militant group in May. And since August 1st, the United States has carried out more than 
490 airstrikes to support them. A spokesman for Mastrata Red Forces said they were in control of Sertz uh, Giza uh, Bahreya and were securing the area, where officials said 34 Daesh fighters, including at least two senior commanders, surrendered earlier in the day. Another spokesman told Misrata TV the forces were continuing to besiege the remaining buildings held by Daesh, more than 20 of whose fighters had been killed. A field commander said fighting was ongoing. A staff member at a field hospital outside Sirt said three of the Misrata-led forces were killed on Monday and 17 more wounded. In recent days, Libyan forces say dozens of women and children have escaped or been freed from the area.